Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out the Morphe X Madison Beer Channel Surfing Artistry Palette. So if you want to see the look we create and how this works, then just keep watching. So, like I said, this is the Morphe and Madison Beer collaboration. It's the Channel Surfing Artistry Palette. I really wanted to say Chanel, but it's two in. <laughs> Just a habit. Um, this retails for $22, and this is what the, oh, look at that. It's like an optical illusion. Uh, this is what the palette looks like. It is actually really pretty. I've been told from a couple people that Morphe shadows are going downhill, so let's test them out. I have swatched some of the like shimmer shades, and they feel really nice, and they look really pretty, so. Let's do the light one. So I have high hopes. Obviously swatches doesn't always translate on your eyes, but we will see. We're just gonna jump right into this. I'm not gonna show you doing my face because this is just an eye palette review. So I did start without my face. That way I can just clean up and make sharp edges when we're done with this. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm trying to debate like what I want to do. Will these look good together? Oh, I just swatched a matte shade. Ooh, that came across. Nice. Those will look good together. I'm just like trying to stray away from what I always do because like my immediate thought is to do the browns and do the like goldish champagne color. But I feel like that's what I always do. So we're going to switch it up instead. But I just can't decide like which way. Should I go purple? Should I go pink? Should I go this like greeny gold color? Like I kind of want to do that just because it's not something I normally do. So I think I'm going to go in. Should I just sh sh jump into that? Let's not. Let's not jump into that one. We're going to do this shade. Which there are names. But it fell and I'm too lazy to pick it up it's like it fell and then slid so I'd have to get under the table and I don't want to do that so we're not going to um, I will tell you the brushes as we go so let's do a fluffy brush let's use this one this is by Sephora and it is a fluffy crease it was it's like a collection so if you find this collection I'll attempt to find it and link it down below if I can find that collection because these are really nice brushes in this collection so we're just going to take the shade, like I said, this one, and we're going to buff that into our crease. I haven't done it in a while, so I think I'm going to do a halo eye just because I haven't done it in a while. So we're going to buff that in the crease, but all the way on the inner side as well. Probably need a smaller brush. Oh, well, we'll regret that later. Okay, just initial swatches or like not swatches, but like blending. Initial putting it down. <laughs> it's actually pretty pigmented, so I definitely should have put a lot less. This is a really nice mirror, by the way. Oh, um, I did just put concealer and set my eyes with powder, so you know what's down there first. Since we're reviewing an eyeshadow palette or playing with it, let's talk about palettes. Question, do you want me to review the Mario palette? I didn't buy it. Um, I was contemplating buying it, and then I saw a review, which it wasn't that it was a bad review, it was a fine review. But I just feel like it's so, I don't need it. You know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, I review stuff. So if you want me to get it, I can. I just feel like personally, I don't need it. And I'm always somebody who likes to put a shimmer shade down. So I don't really like that it's all matte or you have to buy a different palette that's all shimmers. So I don't really like that aspect, just cause like, for me it doesn't feel efficient. Like, I could see why a makeup artist would like it, but I just feel like it's $48 a palette, if I remember right, 44 or 48. I know it was in the 40s. And I'd have to buy more than one palette because I want shimmers, and I don't just buy individual shimmers. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess I do use liquid shadows a lot, so. I could just use a matte palette. I don't know. You guys tell me. If you want me to get it, I'll get it. But I don't think I'm going to buy it. If not, 
I don't know. I say that now and then watch the next videos reviewing it. <laughs> I have a shopping problem. I can admit it. Okay, so right off the bat, this is a really nice shade and it's blending out really, really nicely. As I'm going, it is getting darker and darker, which tends to happen with every shadow. Do you notice how I stopped doing a halo eye? It's just oh, such a habit. And now I don't feel like doing it, so we're not going to. This is how all my palette, my tutorials work. I'm like, mm, I don't really have a plan. Let's do it this way. And I'm like, nah, let's do it a different way. So either Morphe stepped up their game or this palette specifically is a different formula because this is working out really nicely. I'm going to go in with a really fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M514. It's just a blending brush, but there's less bristles, so it is pretty fluffy. And then I'm just going to take this bone shade up here to kind of help blend it into my skin better, just because lazy. And I like how it kind of gives it like a diffused look too. There is a khaki shade right here. So I'm going to use that to deepen up the crease. This is an M506 brush. It's just a small baby blender. Like, here's the difference of comparison. Like I said, if you guys want me to do that video I was talking about, like talking about brushes that I use and why and where, let me know. We're just going to put this in the crease and the outer V just to deepen this up. I feel like this is always like my go-to for how I do found or foundation for how I do my eyeshadow it's just the easiest and simple so that I can like wham bam get out of here and do it you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying um, then I'm gonna go back in with the other shade and just kind of blend and basically I just keep going back and forth between the two colors until I like the look of it so most of the time I cut all that out because it would be a lot of useless footage of you watching me just sit here and blend. So I do tend to go back and forth between the two shades a lot more than you always see. But I do want to mention it. That way you know, like, if you're doing it and you don't get that kind of blend right away, well, neither do I. I just don't show you because it's not fun to watch. So we just go back and forth, back and forth until we get what we want. So. I'm gonna keep doing that and then I'll be back to move on. Okay, so both eyes are done now. Let's move on to the lid shade. It's so annoying. My phone is sitting on a stand here and it keeps like blocking my light and I didn't notice. So sorry about that. Okay, what should we do for lid? Should I keep what that color was gonna do? What does it look like again? That would be pretty. I feel like I want gold, but that's... Probably the closest to gold that we have. We have copper. Now let's do that. All right, we're gonna do the shade right here. Ooh. So it's like a greenish, goldy, like puke shade, but it's really pretty. And I'm gonna try it on a brush. I don't have high hopes for it, but long nails, it makes it really hard to try and apply things with your finger. Also, you guys need to tell me if my jump cuts and editing bug you. Probably just did one. <laughs> but I scratch my nose a lot or touch my face a lot. And I try to just like cut it out because I notice I stop talking when I do it. So, uh, I cut it out because I'm like, you don't want to watch that. But then I don't know if my jump cuts are annoying. So let me know. Anyways, we're going to use this brush. It's the Alamada Cosmetics brush. doesn't have a name, so I think it was like a boxy charm trio thing. But it's just a flat shader brush and we're going to use that to attempt to put this on okay so nothing really seems to be coming off with the brush so we're just gonna use the finger just do the pinky oh, i knew that would happen i got it see it gets on my nail and then my nail gets on my nose it did work a lot better though but i do want more so let's get out of spray we're gonna use the anastasia dewy set and we're just going to spray this. Alright, let's try that. Um, so it's not turning out as gold in person. Or as it did on my finger. So we're probably going to have to go in with something on top. But let me at least get this side to match. Okay, that shade went everywhere. On my face, on my desk. See, now there's like no gold shade. What are you? That might be pretty. 
but probably not. The only like light color is this one, but it's champagne. Like this is coming off um, like more pinky. Like there's a gold for sure, but it's like a rose gold. I don't know. It might be okay. Let's try that. We'll just try it. Ooh. Okay. We're going with it. It's too late. That's definitely prettier. I guess we're going to leave it at this. I would normally go more in depth, but it doesn't have like a lighter shade that I'd want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup real quick and then we'll be right back. Okay. The rest of my face is done. Let's do the bottom, the lower lash line. So I'm going to take that khaki shade again. So this one. We're going to put that on my lower lash line. I'm just going to use a definer brush. This is a Morphe brush. It's a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collaboration. It is the JH43, but it's just a fat, flat definer. We're going to use this on the lower lash line. Whoa. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm actually going to use the same brush I used earlier. We're just going to use a color swatch to take off that dark shade because I don't want to keep wasting brushes. So, okay, now that it's clean, so again, it's the Morphe M506. I'm going to go in with the first shade we used and just buff this out. A part of me wants to do eyeliner, but I feel like I shouldn't. You know what would look really cute with this is a brown eyeliner, but I don't have any. All right, it looks like all I have is black, and I feel like black would be too dark with this. So we're just gonna not do anything. I feel like this really needs like a highlight for a black brow bone for the inner corner, but I feel like it needs a gold and there isn't one. There's this, but I feel like that's almost too pinky. But we're gonna try it. It is this shade ooh, right here. Is that better? There, this shade right here. We're gonna try that as the inner corner and the brow bone and hope for luck. All right, looks pretty cute actually. It's not leaning too towards pink, so it is working for me. Let's do some mascara real quick. I'm just gonna use the one I've been currently using and loving, which is by Marc Jacobs. It's the Lashed, Lashed, Lashed. It's like Lashed with the apostrophe D. I feel like my hardest part with makeup is always choosing the lip. I don't know why it's so hard. Oh, should I use one of these crayons that I was talking about last time? Should we try it? Uh, this is Super Stay Crayon in Trust Your Gut. I don't know if I'm going to like this color, but... Ooh. It's turning out way more pink than the packaging looks. Do you see that? That is not the same color. Honestly, it looks like I put this one on. God, how pink is this one? Okay, well, this is not what I was going for. There's that shade. It is really pretty, but definitely not what I was going for. It doesn't go with this look, so we need to do something else. All right, we're gonna try this Kim K pencil. See if this is close, but if I remember right, this also doesn't look like this shade that you think it would be. So this is a KK Beauty pencil in love. So this came in her like, um, Wedding collection, I can't remember what it's actually called. I feel like this is probably like a nude on her and this is a brown on me. I don't know how people do it. My lips are so uneven. It came with this lip. Ooh. That's not uh, gonna be easy for me to blend. My lips are not close enough. Should we do, that's cute, let's do this. So this is by e.l.f. and it is in the shade Cream. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna blend a little better because I feel like I'd rather just have that white or that light color mostly on the inner part of my lip. There we go. Cute. Oh, she cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm done. Actually, I really am done. So this is the completed look. We had some issues with the color payoff, not really coming the same as what it was on my finger, but it still turned out really pretty. Uh, the mattes, 
Mattes blended amazing on this. Obviously, shimmer for that like inner corner was really, really nice. So, I, again, I've heard Morphe's shadows aren't doing so hot, but this was really, really pretty. And, I mean, not really pretty. Well, I mean, it is. But it worked really, really nicely. So, I actually think this is a really good palette. I do like the color scheme. I mean, I'm more of a gold person, so I prefer more gold options in this but I still really really like this palette and it's definitely worth $22 in my opinion so yeah that is all I have for this video so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one